several bathrooms here at the Indiana Beach Campground, not to be confused with IB Campground, which is strangely enough right next door. I'm gonna find out some more information about that. I think it's more expensive and it has things like uh, all of the um, all of the pads are, are concrete, things like that. So anyway, it is 40 degrees outside and I would say it's probably 50 degrees in here. So it's definitely not heated, but it's not a bad bathhouse. Thank God we have a shower in our camper. Here's a sample of one of the showers. I am not gonna turn the water on because I don't wanna get wet today. It's pretty chilly. But all of the stalls, all of the stalls seem to be uh, clean, well-maintained, uh, plenty of facilities to use. Guess we could check the hot water here. Let's do that. There's hardly any campers here right now, so you would assume that they would have ample hot water. Um, okay, so I'm not getting any hot water. Freezing cold water is what I'm getting. I'm not the best for washing your hands and I can't imagine the showers being very uh, comfortable. Nope, uh, nope, my hand's just going numb. <laughs> so there we go, no hot water. Um, it's lukewarm at best and there's maybe 15 campers here, 20 campers here. So we'll go ahead, as you see, there's a, there's a few camping spots here. There's us right there. We're right up towards the front of the facilities. So this is bathhouse, shower, restroom, changing area number four. They do have Wi-Fi here. Um, you have to pay. It was $5 for a day or $10 for three days. So not bad. And the Wi-Fi signal is really strong. I noted that there was like nine different Wi-Fi stations. This is the camp office right here and that's the wi-fi that we're pinging off of you can see it there on the top of the building so if we walk around this way those trolleys will run all day long during the summer to take you over to indiana beach indiana beach is just across the street there and to the right uh one of our favorite little spots here in indiana that is a putt-putt course up there that's closed right now so here's the laundry facility. Here we have the camp store. Currently out of firewood. Thank God we brought firewood. I think it's closed for the season. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything off the reflection or not, but they do have a nice little camp store here. They have this cute place. It's closed for the winter as well. Um, we've came up here and got pizza before, I believe. Um, it's a nice little place. So up there and to the left is a cool little water park. You do pay additional for that. It's nothing fancy. Um, um, you see a lot of those kind in like parks and stuff, just like where water shoots up out of the ground and, and they've got the buckets that dump on your head. We walked down to uh, one of the other bathhouses to give you a little bit of perspective, I'm gonna make you dizzy and spin you around here. We are back there, right over there. We were at that bathhouse. So you can see they have a lot of spots here. I think there's over a thousand spots. But we came up to this bathhouse here and it's actually locked. And I believe Sarah said one of our original spots was actually along here and they moved us. I'm wondering if they don't close this bathroom off as it gets cooler because as you can see along the top here there's no glass or anything it's just mesh and netting so this restroom is going to be really cold right now
I talk about them all the time, but I thought, hey, I'm here. I might as well show them. So here's what your box looks like here. You've got 110, you've got 30, and you got the 50 amp hookup. In one of my videos coming up, I'm going to talk about this little bad boy. I picked this up from Walnut Ridge. Um, nice peace of mind. Like I said, I'll go into detail on that. Because um, there's several options you have. So I think breaking that out into its own video would be great. I also wanted to point out, didn't do a good job of paying attention to the paperwork. Have very limited TV channels out here. I think we picked up four channels, but they do provide free cable out here. Okay, what's going on everybody? It is Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Cold, wouldn't you say? A uh, little little chilly this morning. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a brisk camping experience. I, I guess we can't complain too much. We both have furnaces and we had a giant roaring fire as you'll see in the video, so. Yeah, wasn't bad. Double fire. Um, my final thoughts on the place, I have camped here once before in the summer. It's a nice place, it's clean. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it. It's nice that you're right across the street from Indiana Beach, so you can take the kitties over there, or hell, we go over there. Yeah, there's enough adult rides, it's good for everybody. Absolutely, there's a there's a great bar over there, second floor bar, we've had some fun over there. Um, the trolley system runs throughout the year. They actually had a trolley running this weekend, uh, which I was surprised about, but Troy, what'd you think overall? This is your first time here. Yeah, I liked it, I mean, a little bit of things for everybody to do and I mean even though it was cold it still was a good time absolutely anyway a great place most of the bathrooms were closed up rightfully so the tops of the bathrooms that you see in the video were just screened so uh, a little chilly, a little chilly. Uh, so anyway yeah um, great great place and we're already planning Memorial weekend Memorial back here? Day weekend yeah. all right okay guys there you have it that is our review of Indiana Beach campground next door to IB campground. Uh, we're gonna have to check that out next spring. It's, uh, it's all gated off. I think all of the pads over there are concrete and it's uh, fancier. Um, I believe they have a couple of pools, whereas this place does not have a pool. They have the camp store that you saw in the video. They have uh, the little restaurant, biscuits and gravy, pizza and stuff, which you saw in the video. Uh, washer dryer, they do have putt-putt. And up at the front, unfortunately, I can't show you this either. They do have a large arcade, uh, but I again, it's all boarded up due to the temperature. It's like 40 degrees out. You can't see the breath, but in, I mean, it's chilly. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have to give a special shout out to our brand new sponsor, Walnut Ridge RV, where you can definitely expect excellence. That uh, full disclosure, that's where Sarah and I bought our RV and I absolutely fell in love with the people there. The sales staff is great. The service staff has been wonderful anytime we need it. And it's gonna be fun. Next weekend, we're getting our camper winterized there and they've given me permission to do a complete video of that. So look for that next weekend, uh, next Saturday actually. We're gonna put old girl up for the winter. It's kind of sad to say that we're done, but you know, every season comes to an end. So anyway, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit like. And definitely, if, if you're really enjoying it, subscribe. Um, I would love to have your feedback, uh, questions, comments, concerns. Leave those below in the comments. I definitely respond and pay close attention to those. So again, thanks for watching. And I'm not going to say goodbye for the season because I've got some stuff planned at Walnut Ridge for the winter. Uh, doing some really cool videos in their service center and probably going out and just going crazy on touring some of their awesome rigs they have out there. So anyway, stay tuned, and again, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.